What's going on guys, it's Trevor and today I'm going to be reviewing the SCX K18 gloves. So this, uh, these are the gloves in the Cal Harrison line with STX, um, I believe. So I know he made the gloves, the elbow pads, a head, and I'm pretty sure shoulder pads, and I don't know about a shaft. But today I'm going to be reviewing the gloves. These are the gloves that I used to use, but um, I found a problem with them and I'm going to be going over that towards the end of this video, so I'm going to be getting new ones, but I figured I'd do a review of these regardless. So first thing I guess we get into is the look of the gloves. I mean, there's no doubt they look pretty nice. I have, um, these are obviously the Royal uh, gloves. They look good. They have the K18 right here. Let's see, you see that? Yeah, the K18 right there, the STX on the little, I don't know, handle, cuff thing. Um, a lot of detail right here you see that a ton of detail right here it has just a bunch of like writing and stuff like that thing is that obviously probably means stuff to Kyle um, turtle right there on the um, the tip of the thumb which I thought was pretty cool um, SCX right here yeah that's about it for the look of it so aesthetics wise I mean they look good um, Ventilation, they only have really one vent right here, as you can see, just a weird like kind of vent on the um, the thumb, palm area. Um, they're kind of short though, so I guess they, I mean they don't get too hot when you're wearing them, so that's nice. Um, the cuff has this weird kind of, I mean it's pretty breathable material, it's black though. Um, but the cuff is really nice, I really like the cuff. It comes off like this, so it goes over, but of course you can flip it under like that. And obviously a lot of gloves now are making them with cuffs. Um, but I mean, cuffs are just, cuffs are really great. They're super useful. Um, if you ever need to put like your mouth guard in, or strap on your helmet or anything like that. Cause it's always really hard to do things obviously with gloves. Um, so being able to take them off, but put them on super quickly. Again, you just pop them on like that, and they're back on, super, super useful. So these are pretty cheap gloves, they come in at around like 45 to 50 dollars, you get them cheaper for about like 40, um, so they're not very expensive, and they're definitely geared towards lower level of play, which is where I found the uh, complications with this glove. So I play at the high school level, and I've been using these, I got these last year for Christmas, um, so I've been using these for um, a little bit over a year now, and they did me pretty good. Um, except last uh, Tuesday, uh, I was playing a game, and I was going down the field, and I dropped my hand to cradle one-handed, and my hand was hanging like this, and they just immediately went to slash me. It was right about in there, right about there, and, and it hurt. It did not feel good. I had to sit out of most of the game. I kept trying to go back in, but it just kind of wasn't really working. And so I ended up m missing out on a lot of that game. Um, we lost that game. We also had another injury. It was just not good. So, I mean, it hit me hard. And then um, well, I ended up having to set out of practice a little bit. Um, and I'm not really sure. I have a game in a couple of days. I'm not really sure how it's going to happen um, and how it's going to go. It's, it's feeling better now, but it definitely, it definitely hurt. And I think that's due to just, I mean, the gloves are not very... Protection wise, they that's where they lack a lot. Um, know, let's see if I can show you. I mean, they're really thin, about like right there. That's about how thin they are, just like through the whole thing. Like, if you just hold it, I mean, it's a super thin layer right here. And like the material, it's almost like a weird, like, like, like almost like linen, or, like wool material. And then just right here is like a little bit of harder plastic, which runs right along here and on the middle and pointer finger. And the thumb, that's about it. Um, and I mean, protection wise, they're super thin and they don't like have really protective materials on it. Um, so, if you're definitely going to be playing in a higher level, they, they're not, I would not recommend these. Um, if you're looking, if you're in a lower level or if you're a parent who has like a younger kid and you're looking for a lower level, I'd actually, I actually would recommend these for lower levels because, I mean, you know, what are the chances they're actually going to get hit hard, especially in the hands, um, and I mean they're cheap, like I said, they're like $45, um, which is pretty good for gloves, so I definitely recommend these for lower levels of play, but um, as you get 
higher up and as you get more competitive, I would definitely not recommend these uh, for higher level of play. Um, they just don't have the protection that you need and um, can be can be pretty bad if you get hit there. Uh, just some other things to note, the uh, grip wise, it's got a pretty good grip. It's pretty thin here. Um, it's not like a leather grip like you would see kind of conventionally in a lot more of gloves doing now. It's just kind of like a weird, like, it's just like a fabric, fabric-y um, grip. One thing that I've noticed is that it tends to, if you kind of leave it in your bag, even just for like over like over like a weekend, um, when you pull them back out, they tend to be kind of stiff. And you just have to like, take them in, just run them against like a shaft and really just kind of break them back in just for like five minutes. Um, feeling on them on a shaft, because it's such like thin, it actually does provide pretty good grip. Um, you can really feel like if you have a texturized shaft, you can feel the texture decently well through the gloves, and it'll provide um, a pretty good hold onto shafts. Um, yeah. So that was my review of the SCX K18 gloves. Um, good gloves overall, really good for lower levels of play, really cheap, um, good looking uh, option for lower levels of play. But um, as you get older, like I said, I would definitely not, not recommend them. Um, I mean, they're even like tearing here at the thumb. I can stick my thumb out. Um, so not the most protective gloves, but they look good. They're cheap. They'll play good for lower levels, so I definitely recommend them for younger kids. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Also hit that subscribe button um, so you don't miss any more content coming out. I have a lot more uh, content coming out, some really good uh, videos planned. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.